So here we have the Volcano Tunnel. See out the back there, that's towards blue. And then you'll see this big pathway. Just head up that, I'll tell you the coordinates. They are 25.2 and 56.8. So basically you just head up this kind of a land bridge, do you think? Straight up to the top of it, just show you out there, that's the ocean. That's where the geysers, uh, if they explode as well. And then, where's the doorway? There's the doorway there. And now this just goes straight in. Lots of obsidian in here, which is always handy and good. And it seems to be safe enough to come and get. And this is the exit slice other entrance. That is 25.0 and 59.8. So that is the Volcano Tunnel. So this cave is the Volcano Cave. I am not exploring this cave at all. I will leave that completely to you, but I will show you where the entrance is. Right in front of me. It's coordinates 19.2, 65.4. I'll go in a wee bit. Hopefully I don't die, just to show you. All dark, dark, and it just goes, oh shit. I don't like it in here. So, sea crystal, all that kind of stuff, I'll leave it completely to you to explore. I am getting out of here. <laughs> that was the Volcano Cave. So here we have the Scotland Basalt Cave. Uh, there's the red monolith over there. Uh, basically, if you find the wee lighthouse slash tower, it's just directly below that. This is around in Scotland. Coordinates are 23.2, 68.7-ish. Let's see what the cave looks like. So that is the Basalt Cave in the Scotland area. Here we have the Scotland Waterfall Cave. So you've just looking out to see with red to your right slice, that's the tower. Left is a volcano. This is the volcano, or sorry, this is the waterfall cave. I actually had a base in here, it had the whole floor completely, uh, all the way right in, all the way through here. I had the whole floor except for about here, just to keep those resources. This made an absolutely amazing cave. You have metal, you have obsidian, and you have more metal in that wee waterfall. So, this is the Scotland waterfall cave. Here we have the Scotland Re Crystal Cave. As you can see down there, the, the Waterfall Cave is just down there. You come up, follow this other wee river. There's the coordinates, 19.678.5. So you basically just jump off. Can't get any dinos in here. I've tried with everything and kilos as well. Can't even get it in. But there you go. It's just a, it's just a wee bit of crystal, but it's enough to definitely get uh, you started and keep on harvesting it. So that is the Scotland Crystal Cave. 19.9, 78.2. This is the Scotland Trench Cave. See if you look for that wee bridge or look for those things there. The sea's down there to my left. Up to my right is the Redwood. Look for that little bridge. The coordinates to here is 21.0, 77.0. Then we come down. Now, it can be a little bit tricky to find the first couple of times, but a wee trick to find it is just jump off your, your dino or whatever you're on. Make sure it's not following me, actually. Uh, it's, uh, no, I mean, it's on the left wall, so you keep me, the bridges down there, that wee bridge is there. You keep your left arm on the wall, basically, and just walk along the wall. Keep the tight against the wall. If you don't see it, you will hear it. You hear the rush of wind. And that is the cave. Now that's the we drop it has, but further back here there's crystal. Just a wee bit of crystal, a wee sleeping bag. You can't use that sleeping bag. It's just for 
cosmetic thing. Uh, see them with the dead body with the arrows hanging out of the back of them. So that is the Scotland Trench Cave. Wee bit of crystal, not much else to it other than that monolith or whatever you call it. Sometimes you will have to break away these stones. It's a wee bit easier to get in and out of and to see as well, but they will come back. So that is the Scotland Trench Cave.